Hello all, welcome to part 25 of STNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate depends on groups attribute in TestNG. So let's get started. So depends on groups attribute in TestNG. So before this, we already have gone through depends on methods, but here depends on groups. Here the dependent tests will run based on the at the rate test annotated test methods. But here the dependent tests will run after the dependent groups got executed. That's what is the difference, guys. Okay. But how to use this depends on groups attribute? It's very simple, as simple as depends on methods. In place of depends on methods, we will use depends on groups. And also regarding the groups, I covered a lot of sessions here, grouping the tests. Okay, grouping the test using groups attribute. Okay, we'll be grouping the test using groups attribute and we'll be using this attribute known as depends on groups. Okay, it's a combination. If you have the previous knowledge of the sessions regarding the uh, grouping the test in test using groups attribute and also uh, depends on methods attribute like that, it is very easy to understand depends on groups attribute, but I'll practically demonstrate it will be more easy for you. Okay, here test methods are going to depend on the tests which belong to specified groups. Okay, here are test methods which are going to be dependent on the tests which belong to the specified groups, guys. We have to write the syntax like this, depends on groups is equal to smoke, sanity like that. Okay, the tests which are uh, categorized into smoke and sanity to sh should run first before running on, running the test methods which, which are depending on these groups. Okay, I'll show you practically, guys. It will be more easy. I'll create one of the class, say a class login. Okay, login, click on finish. I'll I'll not write the realistic Selenium code here. I'll write some dummy code, but test cases will look real. But inside that I'll put some print statements instead of the real Selenium automation code or any other automation code. Public wired login with valid credentials this is one of the test. Okay, login with valid credentials is one of the test. I'll put that as at the rate test annotation. Import this at the rate test from test ng. And I'll group it actually. Okay. I'll say groups is equal to circular brackets. I'll provide. Randomly I'll provide some groups, guys. For, for this one, I'll provide smoke as a group. Okay. Here system dot out dot print DLN. I'll just copy this um, test method name just for the sample thing and uh, class name login like this. Now one more test I'll create. Public wide login with valid email and invalid password. This is another test, okay? This is another test. I'll just name this as at the rate test and uh, I'll just add it to the groups. I'll add it to the groups known as uh, instead of smoke, I'll add it to sanity here. Just for a sample case, system.out.println. Here I'll say login with valid email and invalid password and I say hyphen login, hyphen login. Now I'll go to another method. I'll create one more method. Login with invalid email and valid password. Okay, invalid email and valid password. At the rate test. Groups is equal to, for this also I'll say sanity, system.out.println, login with invalid email and valid password, hyphen, login. Now one more test, public wide, login with invalid credentials, login with invalid credentials, I'll write, here I'll write at the rate test and uh, I'll group it into groups is equal to, I'll say here as smoke again, okay? Here I have to put in double quotes, guys. Double quotes are missing. Now here system.out.println, login with invalid credentials, which falls into the smoke test category, hyphen, login. Next one, next test, public wide, 
login without providing credentials without providing credentials login without providing credentials so here i'll say at the rate test groups is equal to regression i'll say system dot out dot print ln okay login without providing credentials hyphen login now public void login without using mouse okay and by using keyboard keys like this i'll create one test method okay just for sample case guys don't take it seriously which group this test methods are falling into why they are falling into i'm just grouping some test into some groups and uh, you know right that's what i'm doing running something i'll stop it yeah here i'll say now we got the time system dot out dot print ln say login here i'll say login okay so the, with the keyboard keys is the thing here i will i will not use groups here already for a lot of test methods have used groups you can see here first test method login with is smoke and second login with valid email invalid password is sanity login with invalid email and valid password is sanity login with invalid credentials is smoke and the next one login without providing credentials is regression and this one i'll use this an attribute known as depends on groups attribute okay so here i'll write depends on groups attribute is equal to provide this uh, curly braces if only one group you don't have to it's not compulsory guys uh, for only one group you don't have to mention this if you are providing multiple groups uh, you can mention this for single group also you can mention that is optional though okay here in double quotes i'll say smoke guys okay i want this particular test to run only after the smoke test okay i want this particular test to run only of the after the smoke test let's see how this uh, execution will happen now okay few of the test methods are smoke few of the test uh, methods are sanity okay few of regression now but this test method should run only after the smoke tests are completed here two smoke tests are there login with valid login with invalid after this two are completed then only this uh, test method should run because it is depending on groups which is smoke for now okay now save this and say run all and see the output guys let's see the output how it is working after all the smoke tests are completed then only after all the smoke tests are completed then only so just to make it more clear guys what i will do here is uh, i'll say login smoke we'll get some idea like which are smoke and which are not smoke okay this one is sanity right sanity and uh, this one i'll say it as smoke and this one is uh, regression this one i didn't categorize into any group let me run it again so that it will be easy for us after smoke tests are run only that uh, other test is depending on the group smoke should run okay let's see here what is happening these are the tests which got executed guys you see first login with invalid credentials smoke test got executed then login with invalid email and valid password sanity got executed login with valid credentials smoke is done then login with valid email and invalid password smoke is completed then after two smoke tests are done then only this one has been completed okay uh, i'll do one uh, experiment here intentionally i'll add a here that means uh, alphabetically it will come first just see here after two smoke tests only it will be executed okay so just run this after the smoke test only that uh, depends on methods will be executed guys Okay, where it is coming still it is coming at the end only right okay why it's login without using mouse and keyboard keys did i provide it properly uh, the name is not updated actually uh, a login okay here i'll say a login right okay so depends on groups is smoke it's taken to the bottom actually after two smoke tests are done then only this will be executed okay but it's coming at the end only still is there any other way i'll just give this as a some priority or something i'll say uh, priority is equal to one i'll say let's see what will happen okay let's see what will happen if i if i give the priority as one what will happen let's see 
till it is coming at the end. Yes. You see, it depends on groups methods are coming at the end. Looks like after smoke, smoke. First, it is going there, guys. Actually, it is going there. Okay. It's going there. Okay. First, what's happening is, first, it is going there. But it is finding that uh, depends on groups will override this priority is called one. Anyhow, we know from the previous session, whether you put priority is called one or not, not doesn't matter. First, it will try to run this A login only. But the problem there is, it is depending on smoke. So first it thought of uh, executing, if I remove this part, for example, if I remove depends on groups here, then you will understand guys, first this method will be executed, okay? The flow, this method will be executed, just see here. You see, A login without, uh, without using uh, mobile and uh, using keyboard keys will be executed, but the problem was, but the problem was this particular method was depending on groups. So even though it has to be executed, uh after groups it got postponed guys okay first the control came to this method only when this depends on groups was not there but since it is depending on group so it's postponed to the last then smoke test got executed then uh, whatever the order it got is all the smoke test got executed remaining all test methods got executed finally the depends on groups uh which is depending on smoke group is getting executed okay so that's how it's coming on the last okay so anyhow, it is running after two smoke tests got executed, but it's coming on the last because it is being interfered in the first, but uh, that didn't happen, okay? So anyhow, okay? So depends on groups, smoke. Is there any other way uh, we can actually do this? Uh, login without, without, with, 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 without. Okay. So let's see the default default order. Let's see guys once. Let's see the default order. Okay, let's see the default order, how they are getting executed. After that, we'll change. I'll do some experiment, run this. First one is, uh, okay. Actually, it is coming on the last only. Okay, it's coming on the last. So it's now not depending on the groups, but still it is coming on the last case because uh, uh, login without, without is there, withouts are coming at the last, okay? Here, U is the last, so what I'll do, I'll just put A here, what will happen, let's see. Before U, I'll put A intentionally and see what will happen, how the order will change, let's see. Run all. So here you see, uh, this one came a bit before because uh, I just added A here, okay? Here in the print statement, I didn't add A, but uh, here I added A. So if you want to do that, I'll add A here. It will be more easy to understand. Now run this. You see last regression got last and this one got uh, Okay. So this one is uh, login without providing credentials is coming last, that is regression. So now at this situation, when this order is like this, now I'll add depends on groups here. Now what will happen? Let's see. I'll just stop this. Okay. Okay, one minute. Now if I say, is there any order difference? Let's see. After smoke, this should run. Let's see. Smoke, sanity, smoke, smoke. Anyhow, it's going to the end only, guys, okay? It's uh, tripping on to the end. After, uh, because when the term comes, are there any smokes left out it is seeing and uh, it's pushing to the end. That's okay, we can't do anything about that. Depends on groups. We can also add more groups, guys, like uh, after sanity, after regression like this, after all the group related tests are done, after smoke, sanity, regression tests are done, then only you have to run these groups, okay? Like this also we can give is another way uh, and uh, let me run this uh, run all after smoke sanity and regression tests are done finally this login without using mouse and keyboard will run okay after all smoke sanity and uh, okay this is another way of doing so here we have explicitly provided three group names that means the tests which are categorized into smoke sanity and regression should run first before running this particular test method. What if any of these test methods fails? 
okay before this test method uh, which is depending on groups run any of the test method fails for example regression fails here what will happen if regression fails here let's say uh, i'll say int a is equal to 5 divided by 0 this will give you uh, arithmetic exception this 38 line will give you arithmetic exception and this particular test will fail and also this particular test will be skipped because this particular test is depending on these groups okay regression group is also included now if one of the test uh, inside any of these groups fail this particular test method will not be executed guys because this test method is depending on all these groups okay in one of the groups this test method is depending on i intentionally added this pi divided by zero which will give you arithmetic exception and the test will fail hence this will be skipped from execution run this let's see what happened in the test engine results where are the test engine results okay here you see login with the valid everything got and once this regression related test got failed and you see the last test method which is depending on all these groups one of the test you see out of all the tests one of the tests in the groups which is this particular test is depending on failed hence this got skipped but still if you want to get run what we have to do you already know this okay if uh, you see one of the tests uh, fails from these groups that are mentioned here, but still if you want to run this dependent test, this depending on these groups, then you have to say always run is equal to true. Okay, that you already know from the previous session. Irrespective of whether any of these tests from the groups fail also, this dependent test will, depending uh, this test which is depending on all these groups will run. Okay, even though it fails also, it will run. Just see that. Always run is the attribute uh, that I have explained in the previous sessions. Uh, let's see. You see, this has still run, guys. Okay, it, it didn't get skipped because I have used the attribute known as always run is equal to true. Okay. Anything else left out here? Test methods depends on test which belong to specified group, depends on groups. Any of the tests from dependent groups fails, then the test will be skipped. Always run if you use, will run the dependent test despite of the test fails from the groups. Okay. So this is how earlier. Uh, depends on methods or depending on the particular test method okay we are giving the test method name here we are giving the group names on which that particular test method is depending on it can be single group or multi multiple groups for multiple groups uh, this uh, 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 starting curly brace and closing curly brace are important for uh, single group if you want to mention uh, then you don't have to it's optional to provide the uh, closing and uh, uh, opening and closing curly braces okay in the syntax this is what is all about depends on groups attribute guys okay and there's one more thing known as groups depending on groups which i'm going to cover in the next session okay here tests individual tests are depending on the groups right whatever i showed you is individual tests are depending on the groups but in the next session a group can depend on other group after one group you can execute that is related to other group that i'm going to cover practically in the next session so so that's all about depends on groups attribute in test ng guys uh, in the next session, I'm going to cover another topic on test engine that I have just now mentioned. So see you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.